Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. So today we're gonna get naked again. Naked wines that is, stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. So before we begin, if you like the video today, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and then leave a comment and let me know you liked it or you can leave me a comment and let me know you didn't like it. Um, I, I don't really care either way, I just like for when you guys give me feedback and or contribute to any other conversations going on. So this is the Matt Parrish Rosé of Pinot Noir. It's a 2018, it's from Los Carneros in the Napa Valley, California. It is 13% alcohol by volume, and it normally retails for, I got my little cheat sheet here, uh, $26.99. Uh, the angel price is $14.99, so if you're an angel, you save 12 bucks. So let's go ahead and take a look at this wine. I've been doing a lot of rosés lately, and a lot of rosé of Pinot Noirs. Now, one thing I did notice as I was pulling that label off just a second ago is it did have a little bit of winemaking notes. So, uh, with your support, I was able to make this rosé from Pinot Noir using grapes grown on the picturesque vineyard situated along the San Pablo Bay in Los Carneros. Hand-picked, whole bunch pressed, cool fermented, and matured on yeast lees, this is a carefully crafted wine with fresh seasonal berry fruit aromas and flavors. So since it was on the lees a little bit, I expect to actually have a little bit of a more dense body to it. So let's take a look. From a color standpoint, you are, <laughs> you're like bubblegum pink. Yeah, you're pink, you're uh, pale pink. Uh, no artifacts, no cloudiness. From a nose, oh, first thing I'm getting is this tart raspberry which is not normally what I get. Normally I get like a sour strawberry or something like that. The strawberry is there, but it's overripe strawberry and a tart, really tart smell of raspberry. I'm also getting uh, what smells like, like a hint of nectarine. There's a definitive watermelon, a slight bubble gum note to this. Like this kind of like a wet stone type of smell and a little bit of lemon. Yeah, a little bit of lemon. Oh, I mean, overall, not bad. Now let's get to the taste. So I would say this is medium plus on the body, I was right. It's gonna have more density because of that time on the lees. Nice, bright, sour fruit notes, that raspberry. And then there's a little bit of strawberry, and that nectarine shows, it's like this really nice mid palate. And then that watermelon, it's not only like watermelon that I'm getting on the mid palate, but then it's like watermelon rind on the end. It's, it has this like kind of slightly astringent, but not in a bad way type of note. It's, this is not bad at all. <laughs> And that bubble gum really plays up front. And then it goes away and lets the rest of the fruit hang out. Lemon. Lemon shows up on the finish big time. Big time lemon on the finish. So that's not that bad. So let's take a look at it. Oh, sorry. Uh, alcohol, medium alcohol. Um, medium on the finish. Intensity, me I'm giving a medium plus intensity. I mean, every it's, it's, it's mostly like a medium to medium plus kind of wine. So now we can do the categorization. So for balance, everything feels like it's in balance. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you a check on that. Length, medium plus, not long, so half a point. Intensity, medium plus, not pronounced, half a point. And finally, complexity. I did get red fruit. I did get some watermelon, a little bit of like a stone fruit with that nectarine. I did get citrus pretty good. I did get a wide variety. I didn't get any secondary notes. I didn't get any tertiary notes. So I'm still only going to give you half a point on that. But that comes out to two and a half points. Ooh, this is going to be difficult. Okay, I'm going to do what I did with the last one. You're good for the $27 price point. You're very good for 15 bucks. I, I really like, I really like this last batch of Naked Wine stuff that was sent to me. And like I said, it's sent to me. I'm part of their ambassador program. I don't make any money doing this. They just send me some wines every once in a while to review. So that's cool. Um, I did say send me a variety. And if you want to know kind of how all of this went down, I have a video right here you can go look at. That kind of discloses more of this. So like I said, I did receive this wine for free, but I also told them, if you give me a bad wine, I'm going to tell you it's bad. I'm going to tell everyone else bad. it's bad too. So um, I, can, I can very happily say that this is not a bad wine. That's for sure. Oh, also, as part of my ambassador program, you can get 
like 160 bucks of wine for like 60 bucks. So click that link in my description and that will send you to my affiliate link so you can get that discount. It's quite nice. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you like today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Matt Parrish 2018 Rosé Pinot Noir? Be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below and I will see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.